Okay, this is the first in a short series of videos introducing R and R Studio. In this one, we'll talk about R Studio's interface, what you see, and how to navigate around it a little bit. Then we'll get into in the next video R as a calculator, and then variables, the types of variables, and how to assign them, how to work with them. Uh, in the fourth video, we'll look into our scripts and how to use those, and then lastly, our notebooks and how to use those. So that's the trajectory of these uh, short video intros to R and R Studio. Let's jump right into the R Studio program. So here we have four panels. When you open R Studio, you see in the upper left what's called the editor window. Below that, the console window. Uh, in the upper right, we have this environment history window. And then in the lower right, we have files, plots, packages, help. Uh, so all of these will be useful for you while you're using uh, RStudio. Primarily, you're going to be writing the commands, doing what you want to do with R in this upper left either in the form of a script or a notebook. And we'll describe both of those later on, but for now just know that this is where you're gonna primarily be working. This is kind of your workspace area over here. Below that, the console is really the brains of what's going on. So that's where the processing happens. If you just had R without R Studio, really that's all you'd be working with. You'd be working with a window like this, typing your commands and then entering them in and seeing the output. RStudio gives you a much uh, greater functionality and uh, makes it a much nicer working environment. At the beginning, it might seem like these two windows here, the script window or the editor window in the console are a little bit redundant, but hopefully you'll, you'll see the value of, of using scripts and then later using a notebook. Uh, in the environment history windows, these are references. The references for variables that you've defined in the environment tab, you'll have any variables listed here. So right now we have no variables defined, so it's empty. But as you define variables, they'll populate in a list here. Any commands you enter will show up in your history. So if you need to look back to something you've done previously, you can look in the history and it will be there. If you want to clear any of these things out, uh, like I have to make this empty, uh, these little broom buttons will clear out um, your history. And so if you had a bunch of text here, code here in the console, you could clear that out if you need like a fresh start on something. And then finally in the lower right, we have files, plots, packages, help. Files um, is really like, if you're a Mac user, this is like your finder window. It has all of your files listed here and you can sort through. So I have a, pro a project folder here that I'll be accessing. If you make plots, they will show up in this window or in this, this tab of the window. Uh, packages are add-ons. They're thing, well, I guess packages come pre-installed on in the R system, there's the R base package, and then there are additional add-ons that can add functionality. For example, to do nice professional looking graphs, you'll probably want to use the ggplot package. That's a package that you can um, install and then load in. So this one, the ggplot2, we could add that package in to make nicer plots. So all of this list here is are options for packages that you can add in. You, know, you, you know, you're never gonna use them all at once, uh, but they're there when you need them. And our studio makes it pretty easy to add in new packages whenever you do need them. Uh, and then finally here, the help. The, whether you're a novice or you're an advanced user, you'll probably be relying on the help to remember exactly how the arguments go into a function or what the different attributes might be. So uh, whenever you run into a function that you wanna use, you can type in a console or into the script help 
and then in parentheses put the function name and here will show up uh, some documentation on how to use it. All right, so that's a very quick introduction to what you're looking at when you open up our studio. In the next video, we'll start using it as a calculator.